Wawa pedal. You may not know what it is, or what it does, but I'm certain that you heard it before in music. The Wawa pedal is a guitar effect pedal that makes, well, a Wawa sound. It's mainly used in funk music or rock, but for the most part it's been used in every genre of music at some point. It's a very, it's a very commonly used effect pedal. It's almost as widely used as a distortion pedal. Every guitarist is go-to pedal usually. The one to create the first Wawa pedal was a man named Brad Plunkett. He worked for a company called Warwick Electronics in November 1966. The original Wawa pedal was made from a transistorized mid-range boost potentiometer breadboarded circuit and the housing of a Vox Continental organ volume pedal. This concept was not new, however. Country guitarist Chet Atkins has used a similar self-designed device on his late 1950s recordings of Hot Toddy and Slinky as well as other artists that use such a device, such as Peter Van Wood and Big Jim Sullivan. The creation of the modern wah pedal was by accident, an accident that stemmed from the re redesign of the Vox Super Beetle guitar amplifier in 1966, and the Warwick Electronics had bought the Vox name due to the brand name's popularity in association with the Beatles. Warwick Electronics also owned the Thomas Organ Company and assigned TOA to create a new line of products called the All, All Electronic Vox Amplifonic Orchestra. During the redesign of the USA Vox Amplifier, Stan Cutter, head of TOA, assigned Brad Plunkett to replace the expensive Jennings 3 position MRB circuit switch with a transistorized solid-state MRB circuit. Plunkett had lifted and breadboarded a transistorized T-bone circuit from the Thomas organ to duplicate the Jennings 3 position circuit. After adjusting and testing the amplifier with an electronic oscillator and oscilloscope, Plunkett connected the output the speaker and tested the circuit audibly. At this point, several engineers and technical consultants noticed the sound effect caused by the circuit. It was first tested with wind instruments, such as a saxophone, then in the last, it was tested with an electric guitar, and it was suggested that it would be used as a guitar effect pedal. After the initial invention of the Watt pedal, the prototype was then modified by Brad Plunkett and tech consultant Dell Kasher. To better accom accommodate the harmonic qualities in an electric guitar, it was first marketed with a picture of Clyde McCoy on the bottom of the pedal. Then after a while being branded as the Clyde McCoy, TOA wanted them to, to rename it as the Crybaby. Nowadays, Cryberries are only made in Sepulveda, California, and Chicago, making them pedals that will carry many upcoming guitarists' careers.